Thank you very much. Excellencies, uh, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to join this high level segment of the 2021 Global Education Meeting that is centered on mobilizing world leaders to make an urgent call for investing in education for COVID-19 recovery and the futures of education. I want to thank UNESCO and the government of France for convening the 2021 Global Education Meeting dedicated to invest in education at a critical moment of reimagining our education systems following hard lessons taught by the COVID-19 pandemic. The world has collectively realized that the education sector needs to take a multi-sectoral approach to address the COVID-19 crisis. The health, nutrition, and well-being of children are interrelated to learning, access to education, and the closing of disparities. This approach can help bring together other sectors on board, like the health, food, and social protection sectors. Through, our, uh, through the 2020 Global Education Meeting Declaration, we committed to reinforce closer intersectoral collaboration and investment in education, and to safely reopen schools, strengthening and restoring access to service, such as school meals, health, water sanitation and hygiene, social protection, prioritizing the health and safety of students and educators, ensuring that reopening plans are equitable, gender responsive, inclusive, and targeted. That is exactly what we have done through the School Meals Coalition, which was launched during the Food System Summit on the 23rd of September, 2021. The coalition is a powerful call to action to ensure healthy school meals and other health services to all children in the world. Its objective is to accelerate progress towards SDG 4 while accelerating simultaneously other SDGs essential to education like poverty and hunger reduction and gender equality. To date, over 60 member states and 50 partners, including NGOs, academia, and UN agencies have joined the call to prioritize the health and nutrition of school children and sign declarations of commitment. Rwanda was pleased to join the coalition. Rwanda made the safe reopening of schools a priority and has deployed various measures to, to that end, including measures to ensure health and sanitary conditions, restoring and scaling school meals and other essential health services. Rwanda scaled up school meals programs across all levels of basic education, expanding coverage from 640,000 to 3.3 million children with significant increase in the fiscal budget for school meals in multiple folds. I, I would like to urge my fellow ministers of education who have not joined the school meals coalition to do so. The coalition provides an opportunity to connect governments, officials, to a global school meals network that allows the government to benchmark its progress against countries as well, all, sc all scale up our programs. The coalition has launched several initiatives to address this, the bottlenecks to scale up quality programs, including a school health and nutrition research consortium and a financing task force. Thank you. It is also very important to support low-income countries to build and scale up strong school health and nutrition programs based on sustainable and stable sources of domestic financing. Intersectoral collaboration, including on financing, is essential to reopen schools 
safely. Thank you, Your Excellency. And ensure all learners receive the health and nutritional support they need for their learning, recovery, and well-being. Distinguished Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, to, to conclude my remarks, Rwanda commends UNESCO's efforts to mobilize world leaders to invest in education and fully support the Paris Declaration. Thank you.